people, beating driver up because the driver overtake them in the road. Beating driver up, beating driver up. Happening in Naka, happening in Naka. They're beating driver up. I can see them, you can see them. I'm beating them. I'm the social media has been awash with the incident that happened in Oka, that's the Anambra State capital city, involving the Oka City Territory Development Authority Chairman, that's Honorable Osio Nukwa, his team, and uh, the GO driver that was uh, brutalized. Uh, watching that scene, watching the videos, the various clips is totally dehumanizing. Uh, it brings to question uh, what really transpired. We've listened to various accounts, witnesses' account. We've seen the uh, statement that was released by the government, uh, by the spokesperson of the government, and also we've seen the statement that was released by the GUO uh, authority. Uh, but one thing points the same direction. The government said the driver drove recklessly, overtaking them, putting their lives uh, in risk or putting their lives in danger. That was why they reacted the way they did. Why for GU, uh, from the witnesses, they said uh, there was nothing like that. That just because the driver overtook their convoy, that was why they had to beat up uh, the driver. Now, if we should take the statement of the government that the driver drove recklessly, does it warrant the inhuman treatment that the driver was exposed to, beating the driver with the machete, uh, brutalizing the driver, kicking the driver? It was just like a uh, touts in display, touts in the marketplace or touts in the park. But these are supposed to be government functionaries. It calls to question the kind of people that are appointed or elected into positions of authority. If truly he drove recklessly, does it warrant that treatment that the man was exposed to? It calls to question really what the government will do about the situation. We've seen the government statement. Uh, I, I listened to Honorable O.C. was saying that uh, he wasn't part of the melee, that he was trying to tell people to stop. Uh, but I don't think that is uh, the true picture because he was standing there and supervising them brutalize the driver. The onus is on the government. I remember the governor said when he came into power, he was going to stop touts in Anambra State, but these are touts on display. The onus is on the government. We believe there's going to set, they're going to set up a panel to look at this incident and then take appropriate action. Um, if uh, Honorable C was is found wanting after the investigation, he should be relieved of his duty because his action is very much at variance with what is expected of any public servant. Also, in the statement released by GEO, they made us understand that the driver is in the hospital, is being hospitalized, is being treated uh, for the effect of the brutalization from uh, OC and his team. Whatever, even if the driver drove recklessly, does not warrant the inhuman treatment. Uh, I believe the government of Soludo should look into it and see how this thing can be addressed. People are appointed, they were elected into positions of authority and to, it is to serve and to protect the citizen, not to brutalize them, not to expose them to a such inhuman treatment. When I watch that scene again and again, I ask myself, who is safe in this uh, state? Governor Soludo, over to you. We're looking up to you to see how you're going to address this situation.